Hi, uh, I'm Matt, and today I'm going to check the ring gear in a wheel bearing with an ABS pickup, magnetic type. I'm going to check it using an LED test light and uh, an ABS sensor so that I can bench test it. I got a kit that has different connectors. This one's not bad, I got it from Amazon, but it allows me to get into here the ABS sensor because it's got the two really small pins and these two clamps go inside to that and clamp onto them really well. So basically that's all it has. One wire here on the ABS sensor. This is the sensor that's all coiled. I know it looks a mess, I've got wires everywhere. ABS sensor and that goes to the battery. And then on the other side of the battery, it's an LED test light that I'm using. LED test light, and it's lit up because it's a full circuit, but I've just got one of the test leads out of this kit with another one of those clamps that goes inside to here. And what you'll notice, the end of the sensor is sitting on this box right here. I'll put a light on to help you see it. So there's the sensor, and the LED's lit. The LED's lit, so now what I'm going to do is put a magnet no telescopic one, this one's broke, I've taped it together. But when I put the magnet next to it, I don't know if you can see that now I've put this light on, I'll just put it back out again. Hey, okay, there's that light, so it's a bit darker now. Try and get it all in the shot. But looking at the LED, it goes slightly dimmer. When I put the magnet, which is here next to the sensor, try and get it all in one shot. Hey. Okay. Oh, I knocked it over. I'll do it again. Right. LED. It's dim. See it? Basically just going back in two. Looks better. I don't, I don't know if you're seeing this like I am in here. Well, maybe I could put a light out. Yeah. There we go. You can't see what I'm doing with the sensor, but I'm moving this magnet past the sensor. Right. Go. It is working that way as well. I don't know if you can see it as well as I can in here. But using a little telescopic magnet, like that, I can wave it past the sensor and it's making the LED go brighter and dimmer. And this is where I was using the ring gear of an actual bearing. I'm just rotating it slowly. And you see it switching in places, then stop switching. Meaning the sensor isn't working all the way around. The magnets in here aren't working all the way around, proving that the bearing was faulty. Anyway, I think if this is this sensor, although it's doing this, it doesn't even work on the car. And that's a problem I've seen with aftermarket ABS sensors. They work. You can sometimes reset the fault code, sometimes you can't. If you put it on, you reset the fault code, you drive it, it doesn't think you're going anywhere. There's zero miles an hour shows up in that corner. I found these aftermarket sensors that are cheap. Sometimes, sometimes they don't work. They just don't work when you buy a genuine one and it works fine. So if you put in one of these cheaper sensors in, chances are it won't work on the car because I've got two here that have got a Fibe that are cheap. Neither of them work. They'll let you erase the fault code but they don't work when you drive the car. Even though you can see it's changing the LED, I'm sure that when you do this the LED should totally go out. Although there is some flow for it, it shouldn't be enough to make the LED light. Um, LED doesn't need a lot of amperage to light, but I'm sure there's too much amperage getting through this. Uh, so I think if you get a genuine one, I'd need to do that sometime when I get a genuine sensor and try the same test again. I'm sure this little LED should go all the way out. But I just thought I'd share that with you of a way. It's a way that you could check the sensor. A uh, way that you could check the bearing as well, 
bench testing it without it on the car, or, or even as a better understanding of what you're looking for on the car, you're looking for a power on a ground, it's not quite battery voltage, maybe not quite a battery ground, it's usually a little bit off that. One of those sides will be switching up and down, up and down, and that'll be a signal. So if it's like 10 volts, it'll go up and down about half a volt, so maybe up to 10 and a half volts down to 10 again, depending on where the magnet is in relation with the sensor. Or if it's on the ground side, it could be one and a half volts going down to one volt when you're spinning the magnet. It won't be both sides that you see different, even though obviously the flow is going to be, the amperage will be the same on both wires, but it only affects one side. You're only going to get a signal change on one side. And that's the same when I'm using this in LED. If I put the LED in the other way around, it only works on the way, the ground side on this one. If I wire it so it's the other way around on this battery charger here, if I put it the other way around, that just stays on red, like it would stay on full battery voltage. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that, playing about in the shed, checking out sensors. Thanks for watching.